China helped Arabia build a desert high-speed railway in the desert. With a design speed of 360 km per hour, it took 10 years to build. This was an impressive mega-project that shocked American engineers at the time. In 2009, people had doubts about China taking over this project. At that time, China's high-speed rail was just starting, and people could not see the power of China's high-speed rail development. In the end, China completed the world's first high-speed rail in 10 years. A desert high-speed rail project. Then, why did the Arabs hand over the significant high-speed rail project to the Chinese instead of choosing Japan, Germany and the United States with developed high-speed rail technology? Saudi Arabia is an uncompromising oil country. At the same time, almost everyone here believes in Islam. Mecca and Medina are holy places in the hearts of Muslims from all over the world. Every year, during the Muslim Hajj, Mecca and Medina welcome nearly 3 million people to worship. Before there was no high-speed rail, some of these people drove there by themselves, and most of them could only go to the Grand Mosque with buses from all over the world. Millions of people shuttled through the desert and became a unique scenery in Saudi Arabia. The old road traffic and equipment have added great pressure. Sandstorms are often encountered during the transportation process, and there are many safety problems. Therefore, the traffic problem during the Hajj has always been one of the important problems that plagues all circles in Saudi Arabia. In 2009 years, Arab decided to spend 16 billion US dollars to build a railway and began to seek railway cooperation with other countries in the world. The railway is planned to be about 480 kilometers in length and pass through Medina, Rabai, Jeddah and Mecca from north to south. Four cities, and this is a desert railway. For such a huge engineering project, there were many bidding countries at that time, including Japan, China, Germany, the United States, and so on. But when everyone saw the line planning of this high-speed railway, they were very shocked. According to the assessment, this railway will take at least 11 years to complete. The unique environment and terrain are all deserts, and there is a place in the earthquake zone, where the temperature all year round can reach 55 degrees Celsius. The complex terrain may make the construction cost continue to increase in the future. Arabia will not support the extra cost. No one wants to do a loss-making project. Building a railway in such an environment is like building a bridge on cotton. The country directly abandoned the construction of this project. It was not luck that China finally won this significant project. But but its strength. China has always been a major oil importer in Arabia. In addition, Saudi Arabia finally dared to cooperate with China on this project, and it was not because other countries gave up and had no choice. In fact, before the construction of this railway, Chinese infrastructure enterprises in Saudi Arabia many projects have also been completed, such as the Saudi Riyadh Bridge, the first high bridge in the Middle East, and the Mecca Light Rail. Based on the smooth cooperation in the early stage, this time we finally won the bid for the Mai Mai High Speed Railway project. But this also means that China is about to face three great challenges. First, the construction of the Mai Mai High Speed Railway can be described as difficult to get to the blue sky. Most of the lines along the line are desert mountains, and the road conditions are very complex. The high temperature is 55 degrees Celsius and the climate is hot. Workers need to face difficulties such as large cultural differences in serious water and soil acclimatization. The desert is dry and water deficient, and construction under such high temperature will undoubtedly bring great harm to the construction personnel. At the same time, it also has a great test for the construction materials. During the construction, the method of controlling the temperature of the raw materials has to be adopted, and the characteristics of the large temperature difference in the desert are used to ensure the setting speed of the concrete. Second, the desert soil is soft and soft, and the content of silt clay is low, resulting in loose sandy soil, which cannot meet the special requirements for laying high-speed rail foundations. In addition, the desert coverage rate of the construction site is as high as more than 90%. Once the construction starts, the requirement for continuous transportation of building materials cannot be guaranteed. In the face of difficulties, the Chinese team used local materials and used sand to make the high-speed rail foundation. They used the method of collecting thick rock layers from the desert, laying them on the ground, and then tamping the foundation. 
they continued to collect and compact, and finally successfully laid the high-speed rail foundation. The third difficulty, that is the impact of wind and sand on the high-speed rail. We can't stop the sandstorm in the desert, but it will definitely have the greatest impact on the railway tracks of the high-speed railway. It is likely that the track will be buried directly in the sand, making the train impassable. The Chinese engineering team must solve this problem? The Chinese team has set up a large number of sand blocking ditches and sand accumulation platforms around the desert high-speed railway to effectively intercept the wind and sand. In addition, they also used the sand control method of the Taklamakan Desert to control the moving sand dunes with grass checkered sand barriers. In addition, in the earthquake zone, China has also adopted the method of building viaducts to keep the railway off the sand surface. But this has also led to a substantial increase in the cost of railway construction. The bridge is 1,556 meters long and spans five highways. The maximum width of the bridge is 72.6 meters, which is the largest high-speed railway bridge in the world. In order to solve the problem that the bridge is in the seismic zone and ensure the quality of the bridge, during construction, temperature sensors and strain gauges are embedded in the bridge to observe the temperature change of the beam body in real time. To meet the seismic safety requirements of the bridge design, and to quickly open to traffic traffic after the earthquake. Requirements In the whole project, China also pays great attention to cultivating foreign talents. They provide local people with jobs and allow them to participate in the construction of the railway. Among them, more than 400 local skilled workers have been trained and 2,500 jobs have been provided to local workers. One of them is an ordinary worker from Pakistan. After nine years of study, he not only learned fluent Chinese, but also mastered the technology of railway construction. Friendship the Chinese always believe that in international projects, only by involving more local people in their own country's projects can the project be more viable locally, so they are willing to share their technology with the world. This is the world's first high-speed rail through the desert that China has participated in overseas for the first time. On September 14, 2018, the 450-kilometer desert high-speed rail in Saudi Arabia was officially launched. The Chinese team not only donated a high-quality desert high-speed railway to Saudi Arabia, but also imparted China's valuable sand control experience to Saudi Arabia. In the end, the world's first desert railway was finally handed over to Saudi Arabia with first-class quality. After the official opening of the Maimai High-Speed Railway, the travel time between Mecca and Medina will be shortened from the current 4 hours to 2 hours, and the annual passenger volume will exceed 15 million, which will greatly ease the local traffic pressure. This high-speed railway connecting the two holy places of Islam has not only fulfilled the long-cherished wish of Saudis and Muslims around the world for many years, but also is another important testimony of the participation of the Chinese team, represented by China Railway Construction in overseas high-speed railway construction. And through the construction of the high-speed rail project in Saudi Arabia, China has also opened the door to build high-speed rail with other countries in the world, such as China and Indonesia, Russia, Africa, Malaysia, Thailand and other countries. China has built railway projects for them. Such a the successful move makes people admire the strength of Chinese technology. In this society where the world helps each other, China Railway has made greater contributions to the construction of the Belt and Road. What do you think about this? If you like my video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.